This video explains how to convert a character string containing dates and times with AM and PM to proper date and time objects in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the vector of character string dates and times that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data object called myDT is appearing at the top right. And if we print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that our vector object contains four different dates and times with PM and AM. And as you can see by applying the class function to this data object, currently our data object has the character class. So if we want to convert this vector of character strings containing dates and times with AM and PM to proper date and time objects, we can use the lubridate package. And as a first step, we need to install and load the package as you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code. I have installed this package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 11. And then in the next step, I can use the parse date time function of the lubridate package to our date and time object. And then I also need to specify the format of our character string. So in this case, the first value is the day, the second value is the month, the third value is the year. Then we have the hours and please note that we have to specify the letter i because this corresponds to am and pm times. Minutes, seconds and at the end the P stands for AM and PM. So after running lines 13 and 14 of the code, you can see that a new data object called MyDTNew is appearing at the top right. And if you print this data object to the RStudio console, you can see that we have created a vector containing four date and time objects. You can also see the time zone. And you can see that the PM times have been converted from the 12 hour format to the 24 hour format. So for instance, our first time was 11.59.22 p.m. and now it's 23.59.22 without the p.m. We can also check the class of our updated data object using the class function once again. So after running line 17 of the code, you can see that we have converted our character string to the POSIX CT class. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.